So we're here at RE Plus 2025 in Las Vegas. And if we walk a little bit past the Bistro, we end up coming across the EG4 booth and they've got a handful of new products that they're bringing to market at the end of 2025 and into 2026. So let's take a look and see what they've got. So the first product that we came across looks to be a hybrid window unit. So that means you can use 120 volt AC or you can bring in DC from your solar panels to power this unit during the daytime. It is not a heat pump unit, so it can't provide cooling and heating. So it's not gonna be as efficient as a mini split, but it seems like it would work better in smaller spaces where a mini split just doesn't make sense. The next new product they've got is a multi-head mini split. Looks like the outdoor unit is gonna have a nominal capacity of 36,000 BTU. Uh, they'll have a 12K, 18K, and 24K head unit options, each one for different spaces. This is gonna be a hybrid mini split unit, which means you can have uh, powered by AC, 240 volts, or DC, coming in from solar panels with a DC range of 100 volts up to 410 volts. This will allow you to simplify your installation by only needing to set up one outdoor unit instead of one outdoor unit per room. Rounding yet another corner, they are going to be releasing what they're calling their EG4 core cell battery, which is a 16 kilowatt hour battery in both an indoor and an outdoor version. You see they did remove the display on the front. It just has state of charge indicators. It's gonna be a BMS access port to easily get to the BMS should you need to repair or replace it. All the battery connections are gonna be moving to the top of the battery instead of the sides like we saw on the old indoor and outdoor wall mount batteries. Their main battery connections were the Degson style quick connect, but they also went in and added an additional lug style terminal. So you can wire your charge verter directly into one of these batteries. The 16 kilowatt hour offering will allow you to have an indoor or an outdoor battery, which is more capacity, but really almost the exact same footprint as the 280 amp hour batteries that they had. They've got another version of the charge verter coming out, which this one is actually going to be uh, UL listed, I think class B certified uh, and IP54 rated. So you can actually mount this permanently on installations that are getting inspected. Because in the past, because it wasn't UL listed, there were problems with uh, AHJs not liking the charge verter being permanently mounted. So they went through and made some modifications so that it could get UL listed. And now you can have this permanently mounted and wired into your installation. So the last thing that I saw in their booth is kind of what I think is going to be the biggest new release of this next year. And that's going to be the EG4 Nova. So it's a high voltage system. And I'm kind of glad to see that EG4 is getting into the high voltage market. And the reason I say that is with a higher voltage battery, you're going to have less loss converting power from your solar panels and storing that power in your battery and then also converting that power from your battery DC power to the AC power that your house uses. So from what I was told, the inverter on top is basically going to be a FlexBoss 21 turned on its side. All the specs are going to be the same. It's really the high voltage aspect that makes this system different. The battery beneath is a 32S configuration, which is going to be about 100 volts, a 16 kilowatt hour battery. This is gonna have the ability for a full 16 kilowatt output directly from the battery. No grid, no PV needed straight out of the battery. Another big plus about this system is it will be able to integrate directly into 
an existing grid boss configuration. So if you have a 48 volt grid boss, you'll be able to parallel this high voltage system directly into your current environment. So again, lots of good stuff coming out of the EG4 booth. If I have any spec sheets, I will try to link them down in the description below. And from what I've been told, release times across all these products are sometime Q4 2025 into Q1 2026.